بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. My brothers and sisters in Islam, we are standing outside Masjid Quba, and this is the first masjid that was built in Islam after Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم arrived from Al Hijra when he left Mecca and arrived to Al Madinah. When Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم encouraged the believers to pray here, and he himself would come every Saturday and pray. When Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم said. Anyone who makes wudu in his house or in your hotel room when you're visiting here and comes to Masjid Quba and prays two rak'at, he earns the reward of a umrah. But there's a story behind this masjid and something that happened here that we as believers can learn. And that is that when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam built this masjid, when they built this masjid, Masjid Quba, what had happened after this is that Al-Munafiqoon, a group of hypocrites, they also built a masjid close to it, which was approximately in this direction, not far from here. And it was known as Masjid Dirar. And uh, the leader of the Munafiqun at the time, or Abu Amir al-Rahib that was there, had approached the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said to him, Ya Rasulullah, we want you to come and pray in our masjid. Why? So that if the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was to pray in their masjid, it gives it a tick of approval, so people will go there. And the hypocrites built that masjid with a very filthy and an evil intention that Allah Azza wa Jal would expose in Surah at tawbah when the ayat are revealed. So when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam agreed and promised Abu Amir that when he goes to the Battle of Tabuk and comes back, he will pray in their masjid, in the masjid of these hypocrites. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to Tabuk and as he's coming back, Allah azza wa jal revealed ayat there from Surah At-Tawbah. Allah azza wa jal, he said, وَالَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مَسْجِدًا ضِرَارًا وَكُفْرًا وَتَفْرِيقًا بَيْنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَإِرْصَادًا لِمَنْ حَارَبَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ Allah azza wa jal exposed the filthy and dirty intention of this masjid that the hypocrites had built right next to Quba. Allah azza wa jal, he said, and those who have built a masjid ضِرَار a harmful masjid wa kufran and a place where kufr and disbelief is practiced wa tafriqan bayna al mu'minin and this masjid the purpose of it was to divide and disunite the muslims and the companions to cause chaos in al madina wa irsadan liman harab allah wa rasulahu min qabl and this masjid dirar that the hypocrites built they also built it so it can be a place in where anyone who wanted to wage war against the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that they join and they prepare their battle against the Messenger at that place. And these hypocrites, Allah said about them, They promised and they said, By Allah, we only built this masjid, this masjid, close to Quba so that we can unite the Muslims. We built it upon good intention, upon sincere and an honest intention. But Allah Azza wa Jal exposed in the Quran and said, Wallahu yashhadu innahum lakathibun. They were liars in their claim. Allah Azza wa Jal then commanded the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, La taqum fihi abada. Don't you dare go there and pray a single prayer there. La taqum fihi abada. La masjidun usisa ala taqwa min awwal yawm. Allah Azza wa Jal says, a masjid that was established upon piety and sincerity and goodness, which is Masjid Quba, Allah said, Min yawm, from the first day, from the first day of his arrival, meaning this is the first masjid in Islam, it is more worthy for you to pray in this masjid. فيه رجال يحبون أن يتطهروا within it a man that love purification they purify themselves from kufr from filthy evil intentions and so on والله يحب المطهرين the greatest thing that we learn and then obviously after this the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم sent companions to Masjid Dirar and he commanded them to burn it and they went inside and they lit the branches that were there and the trunks of the tree that the masjid was built upon and the masjid burnt and people inside of it ran away and that was the end of it. Now the greatest thing one a believer can learn from this is that when a deed is, uh, is established honestly and sincerely for Allah's sake, it remains. And any deed and anything established with a filthy and a dirty and an evil intention, it ends. And so look at Masjid Quba. It was built with a clean intention, with a sincere intention, with a pure intention for believers to come and join 
and gather and worship Allah and unity to be displayed, it's still here. It is still here. And the deeds that you do for the sake of Allah, sincerely and honestly, they remain in your account and you'll see them on the day of judgment. And they could be the reason for why a person enters the paradise and anything that was established with a filthy, a dirty, an insincere intention, an evil intention, it won't last long. That Masjid Dirar was built and it was destroyed in the life of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so a believer, if his deeds, if the good deeds he does, behind them there was an evil, filthy intention, they'll ex be exposed very soon. They'll be destroyed and you will not see their reward. For my brothers and sisters in Islam, we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to always keep our sin in intentions sincere and clean and pure. And we ask Him Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to rid us of insincerity and of evil, filthy intentions. We ask Him Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to accept from us our deeds and to forgive our shortcomings and our sins. Innahu wa liyu dhalika wal qadiru alayhi wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.